Hi there, it's Tev's TV, back for episode 3, and on to what we'll be reviewing today, Mr. Maker. So, what is Mr. Maker exactly, I hear you ask? Well, basically, imagine that smart, younger brother has got hyper online cordial, and that's pretty much what Mr. Maker is. Imagine that a screaming man is hitting you around the face with the Mona Lisa. That's what Mr. Maker is. Imagine that Salvador Dali turned into a cow and floated into space. That's Mr. Maker. My point for all this? It's ever so slightly mental. Nothing stays still in the entire show. Everything is played in fast forward, with the main presenter running around like a cross between The Flash and Taz from Tasmania. You half expect him to start going, Underlay, underlay, aliba, aliba, half the damn time. The basic plot of the show, if it can be said to have one, is that, apparently according to the opening credits, Mr. Maker is God, and on the first day, God looked down and made a cheap BBC set out of the bits and bobs he found in the bottom of a hobbycraft bag. He then proceeds to mull around his new abode, usually doing something odd, and that thing will inspire him to make a piece of art. He'll get the supplies he needs from his doodle drawer. Glimpy PVA glue! Yeah, that's probably what he sniffs in order to be able to run around as fast as that. And then he shows us how to make this piece of art along with him. Presumably we're supposed to actually make it. And really, that's the end of that. And he soon moves on to his next piece of art and showing us how to make something completely different. Mr. Maker himself has to be on something while making this show. I mean, just look at him. Oh, I can see the colours. Maybe I should eat it. I am rather peckish. Mention none of this to your mum and dad. And I'll cut you. I'll cut you. Well, anyway. The main purpose of this show is for us to go out and make stuff. So, let's make something. Right then, Mr. Maker. Let's make this thing right here, right now. Try making an amazing ancient Egyptian picture out of bandages! Uh... Fuck, I don't actually have any bandages lying around. Who the hell has Mr. Man style bandages lying around? Uh... Fuck it, bog roll. I'll use that. What else do we need? As well as some bandages, we'll need some other things from the doodle drawers! Come on, you lot! <laughs> Some gloopy PVA glue. Shit, uh, gloopy glue. Uh, back, uh, I have some moisturising lotion, that's quite PVA ish. Some coloured crayons. <laughs> Bitch, I'm an art student, I have crayons. A fiery dragon? No, we don't need him. What? We don't need the fucking dragon. Shit! Fuck. Right then, boys, get rid of the dragon. Yeah, you heard me, rid of it! Listen, I don't know what the hell you're supposed to do with a dragon. What the hell am I supposed to do with a dragon? Oh, that's it, boys. You want to come downtown? Come on, come on, bring me! Some coffee powder! Check. Hey, no even need for any loopholes for this one. And a sheet of white paper. Bitch, what bit of art student didn't you get? Now, to make an ancient Egyptian picture, like this one here, you have to start with half a teaspoon of coffee powder and then mix it in with two splashes of water. Shit, water? You didn't mention needing any water. Uh, water, water, what's water here? Uh, 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 saliva. Fuck it, I'll spit. Oh, fuck! And now we can put in a big splodge of gloopy glue. Of course, when it says gloop, glue, glue, means moisturizing oh god oh fuck that does not look nice oh jesus oh, fuck oh god 
Now, the next bit is the fun bit, but it's also the messy bit. What? You mean this isn't the fucking dirty bit? Dirty bit. Now, we're going to bring in our paper, and then we need to cut some bandages into strips and lay them across the paper. Now we're going to very carefully paint our glue and coffee mixture all over the bandages. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Let's start drawing our picture with a black wax crayon. Oh. Cute. <laughs> Um, tree. So why don't you try making some old looking paper and drawing an ancient picture? Yeah. A fucking masterpiece. So yeah. Anyway, as you can see, the show really is just Art Attack repackaged for babies, fronted by a guy who can only be described as a mix between Mark Spate, God rest his soul, and P. Re Bloody Herman. It does come with a couple of added bits that were added to the format and are exclusive to Mr. Maker though. Firstly, we have the shapes, who are obviously four shapes. And these guys have always pissed me off. Why? Well, because their damn voices are wrong. Firstly, you have a small pink circle. Now what's the obvious voice to give a small pink circle? Now this might be a bit stereotypical of me, but you give it a young girl's voice. Small equals young, pink equals girl. Obvious, isn't it? I am a circle. So why the fuck does it have a male voice then? You know what happens when something's male and you make it pink? It becomes gay. It happened to Birdo, it'll happen to this. Do we honestly want another Tinky Winky controversy when we sell this shit to America? I am a triangle. Now that's the fucking voice you should have gave to the circle! Oh, trust me, I'm the fucking square here. I spend all my spare time taking the mick out of children's TV and getting pissed off because circles aren't women! I am a rectangle. Oh, come on! That is so what the voice of the square should have been. The shorter, squatter shape should have had the deeper voice. I am a circle. What picture are the circles going to make? Um, well, the colours are saying to me that a uh, cat. It currently looks like a Petri dish that's gone wrong. Ah, oh, fuck it, it's all just a big load of balls. The next extra bit comes in the form of these kids, who, oddly enough, walk up to Mr. Maker's house, start cloning themselves in his front yard, and positioning each other in such ways as they make a picture. We're supposed to guess what picture they're making, but frankly, I'm still trying to guess what the hell's going on in this bit, exactly. I am brown. Whoa, hey kid, I know that some people aren't certain of their colour, but you are certainly not that. I am pink. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's make the girl pink because she's a girl. That isn't sexist profiling at all, is it? Wait a minute. Wasn't I just complaining about the pink circle not being a girl a few seconds ago? Ah, fuck it. Boo! You made the girl pink! I'm black! Same as the last boy, kid. No, you're not! Next up, it turns out that Mr. Maker also has a magic pencil that can draw pictures all by itself. Can you guess what the pencil is drawing? No. Why the fuck should you care? It's the same thing as the other two, only it's a pencil now. Oh look, a nice skater. Next! 
So last but not least, we also have Minute Make Time, which is a series of makes that you can do in under a minute. So what are we going to be making today, Mr Maker? And here's what we're going to make today. A one-eyed monster! A what? A one-eyed monster! Seriously? A one-eyed monster! Oh my god! Yes, Mr Maker is currently showing your children his one-eyed monster. Okay, so it turns out that you make Mr Maker's one-eyed monster by getting two balls and sticking a large sausage-shaped protrusion over them. We can draw those on the side of this card here. Really? Oh, come fucking on, there's subtlety and then there's that! Look at it! Look at it! What the hell does that remind you of? There is no way on God's green earth that this shape stuck onto a one-eyed monster that's actually just two balls and a protrusion was not 100% completely intentionally. I mean, God! You are a sick man, Mr. Maker. You are a sick man. Oh, God. Now, I've got to be completely frank here. I love this show. Mr. Maker is brilliant. Just watch it and love it. Because, frankly, despite being an Art Attack clone, there's just nothing else like it on TV at this moment. It is insane. And delightfully so. I know that I just screamed and ranted at it. But it's just so fun. Both the show and the ranting. And you just can't find it in yourself to hate it. It's a show about a man who's obviously on something. Making one-eyed monsters in his spare time. And he has a bunch of small children in matching outfits running around his front garden. Whoa. Actually, now that I mentioned it like that, this show is terrifying. I mean, look into those eyes. Those eyes that stare into your soul. They say that only the dead have seen the end of war. Well, I've seen the end of war and it's in the eyes! The eyes! The eyes! So, all in all, it's a bit crazy. But, then again, that's why I love it. Frankly, I'm amazed how this show doesn't have a bigger cult following outside of its intended demographic. And if you can ever watch it, seriously, just do it. Just for fuck's sake, never try to actually make anything from the show. Unless you consider coffee glue and spit on toilet roll as art. Thank you. This has been Tev's TV Spotlight on the show Mr. Maker. Join us next week when we'll be talking about a show very close to my heart. Doctor Who. Until then, thank you, I've been Tevs, you've been an audience, goodbye.